Recording This meeting is being recorded. Yo, 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 what's happening, you guys? Morning. Morning. Hi, everyone. Morning. Let's a uh, little bit of give us a minute to let everybody hop in. Um, am I going to be the only one here? You guys going to make me talking, talking all by myself? Me and Mauricio talking to each other. I got Richie here. What's happening? Good morning. Got Hannah showing up. All right, all right, here we go. I don't like talking to myself, guys. It just it makes it weird and awkward when I'm like sitting here just like looking at pictures and then I look at myself. Just wait till you guys start doing some uh some master classes or you start running some some zooms and you'll 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 see how it is. You'll see how it is. All right, well uh we're gonna have uh this is a hot topic. This is what Janine has been telling me. Gav has been telling me this is like one of the biggest questions about, you know, running landing pages and websites and all that good stuff. So we're going to go a uh, deep dive into it. I've been doing it for, for years. Um, so we're going to show you guys exactly how to do it. And uh, also answer any questions that you guys and also like almost kind of create this more so like a workshop where if you guys have something that's going on that we could help you kind of create a landing page for um like if you got you know i think i think there's so many different ideas that you guys can have but having i think you know right i think what do we keep talking about right now we keep talking about how much value we need to bring right to consumers right how how do we look you know in front of buyers how do we look in front of sellers um all that good stuff right and i think that's where you know, how many of you guys go to people's websites to check them out? I'm not talking about real estate related, but do you guys like before you go somewhere or before you do something or before you like, you know, hire people for whatever it is, like, do you guys check out their websites? Do yeah, all definitely. You yeah. Do, do you, guys, our, our you guys have websites? Anyway. So do you think as a as a realtor, do you think that it's important to have your own website because people are going to search you and look you up? All right, cool. At least we're all on the same page. Hopefully I see a couple of head nods from the four of you guys, five of you guys that have joined me. So, um, yeah, so I think, look, websites are a big thing. Look, we, you know, I think I just looked at the bill for the last uh, Lofty um, account and I think we're at like, I don't know, it's like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a month. Right. That's not including any marketing or anything like that. That's mainly just the platform itself for Lofty. Right. And so I think that's one of the things is like, look, there's KV Core, there's all these other websites. They all work the same. Right. They all kind of do similar things. What I've told you guys before is that we put years and years of work into our CRM to build it out. Like everybody gets a CRM. Right. Like, like you could join any brokerage out there. You could join. You know, but the thing is, like, you're going to get a, a CRM. They're like, here, we offer free CRM, CRMs. Here you go. And it's like, okay, now what? Like, it's ba basically, like, a CRM is basically like a blank canvas. Like, all, you can, all you're going to do is, like, add names to it. And, like, you know, they have, like, fee-built stuff. But, like, if you guys don't know, it takes a long time to build it out the way you guys need to, to customize it, to integrate all of the different pieces that we have to do throughout our business, you know, the leads, the, you know, the notes that are being taken, the smart plans, like um, we've hired, you know, coaches, you know, I think it was like three, $400 a month. We did that for like six months where I just had them just coaching me on the CRM and they like helped us build out a lot of stuff. So the thing is like, we have a website, we have landing pages that are tied to something that we've built out that's taken years to build. Like if you were to go and like, let's say start KV Core, like there, it's impossible for you to get it to work the way we have our lobby. It's gonna take years, right? And like, that's what I think, like you join the team, like that's the, that's the, the shortcut, right? So um, one of the things to, to consider is like, you know, just the mindset around what we've talked about, right? The mindset of, you know, how we started the conversation is like, look, everybody's going to search you. They're going to look you up. Like, you better have testimonials. You better have, you know, something, you know, you better have Facebook. You better have YouTube. You better have Instagram. You better have a TikTok. 
You better have, you know, you better be searchable on Google, bottom line. Like if somebody searches you and they don't know who you are, right? Like you're going to go meet with somebody. Let's say you just got a Zillow lead, right? And now you're going to go meet with somebody and they're like, who the hell is Richie? They're going to, they're going to, they're going to Google him. They're going to search him up and be like, man, who is this guy that's about to go show me these houses? Just like what we do to people. We're like, man, there's some weirdos out there. There's weirdo realtors out there. People are searching people, right? So like, we want to make sure that like you look legit, that you look professional out there on all everywhere on Google. So like the thing is, the more you have across the board, reviews tie into you looking even more better, right? Like, like better on every single page that's out there. But I think that's one of the things, you know, just the mindset, right? Before we go into, you know, actually how to do it, it's the why. Like everybody always has to know, like, why are we creating landing pages? Why are we creating websites? Because um, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is, but things are only easy if you put in the work to know how to do it. Like, I don't know how like many late nights that I had for years tinkering with my branding, tinkering with my websites, tinkering with my lead generation, tinkering with Facebook, Instagram, like running ads. Like it does. You, like I could show you the magic tricks. Right. But it still takes your time to put in the work. Right. To actually like learn it, figure it out, play with it. Right. I want to show you guys the basics. I want to show you guys exactly how to do it. But you guys have to physically go in and practice it. And you guys are going to learn it and understand how to do it. So the thing is, like, the ideas around websites, landing pages, uh, I think could go for so many different things. And I'm going to show you guys some of the examples that I've done for, you know, just creating simple landing pages. But, like, it just makes you look that professional. Like you guys could create just a, a quick example. Like, okay. like, say for right now, like, we have high notes. Right, like you guys create landing pages that look just like high note, and, and like that's what I've done, right? You could, but it's tied to your actual domain, right? Go the first thing you want to go do today after this masterclass, go buy domains. It could be you know Mario uh, sells homes in the Bay Area dot com, right? He could he could buy whatever like whatever is available, GoDaddy dot com, right? Go to GoDaddy, go and search domain of what you want and here's the best thing is you could always change that in the future my domain has changed like i don't know three four times since i've had my real estate business so like it's the same thing with your branding and all that so just try to go in and, and try to buy that domain but the different things that i have set up is like you could have you know buyer landing pages right and you could showcase everything that you offer who you are and basically have some reviews on there, testimonials. You could have like some of the homes that you sold. You could like, here's the best thing is you could have your welcome home videos attached into your landing pages. Imagine like, you know, people looking, looking you up and being able to find that stuff and easily be able to like search, let's say Alexis, right? Like, let, let's say like, okay, Alexis is going to go, they're, they're going to look her up and look and search her website. And like, they're going to be able to click her website and easily be able to find what it's going to look like and what, you know, like, how does she look? How does she portray herself out there in the world? Right. So other things are like events, right? You guys could create like an event page, like really, really simple. Like if you guys are advertising, just to give you guys an example, like, like an Easter thing, right? Like we did an Easter uh, egg hunt. You guys could create a landing page around that. And it, it just, all it does is just gives them a lot of information. So you're taking them from Facebook or Instagram or uh, TikTok, or you're taking them from, you know, postcards. Like, what do you think QR codes do? QR codes take them to landing pages. So that's where, so like, what does that take them to? So where does that go? And that's what you want to be able to create. So like, let's say you guys have a home valuation, right? Like you guys could customize your home valuation page. Like if you guys do mailers, you guys do open houses, here's like you guys could create a landing page and I'm just throwing out all these different ideas, but like they're endless, right? But you guys could have an open house and have a, a big, what I, if I were you guys and I was a hosting open houses, I would buy one of those big banners that like stand up. Like you guys know what I'm talking about? Like those big banners that kind of stand up, they're like tall, um, they're long and narrow and like. I don't know how much they are, maybe like $50 or $100 or whatever. And you guys could put your logos, your brand on it. But one thing I would add on there 
is want to sign up for our coming soon list. Scan this QR code. You know, you can do something like that. And like that's going to take them to a landing page of all the coming soon in whatever areas that you decide to do wherever you're doing those open houses that you could change where that QR code goes to and you can keep changing the the landing pages up and it like the more you guys do it the faster you guys get cool so before I kind of hop into the landing pages and all these different things um any questions around this any questions around you know the websites building landing pages like I want to make sure I'm answering everything that you guys had questions for around this well, I, I mean, I have a just a simple question. Is there a like a website that you go to that you can create a logo, like your own logo, or is there like a page that you or somewhere that you go to create yours? Um, so I've gone to like Fiverr, like so Fiverr.com. You could pay people like twenty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever. You know, you guys could kind of look at different options. Um, but that's something that you guys could do. You guys could ask Shamir. Like Shamira on our team, she'll help you create logos. But the thing is, just like, you know, a lot of you guys were on our, uh, you know, leveraging our team and leveraging our admin, like you have to show them and give them instruction on what you're looking for. You can't just say, hey, Sh Shamira, can you help me create a logo? Like give her ideas of what you like. Just like anybody that you hire, like let's say, like I, I had Fiverr do mine, right? Like a long time ago. And so I've, I don't know how many times, how many logos I have. I have probably like 10 different logos that I've changed over the course of 14 years. So like the logo that you guys make today might change, you know, as you go, right? You know what I mean? Like I had one that said, Bill Davis, your East Bay realtor, right? And it was like heck along and like I used that, that was my, my logo, right? So, but start to look at others and start taking snapshots on your phone. Start taking pictures of different logos and like have a collection of a bunch of different logo styles that you like and then say, hey, can you help me create a logo for me? Here's an idea of what I like. And then let them create and be custom around that. So Fiverr.com, you could go to Upwork, you could go to um, Ask Shamira, right? Like I think Shamira's created a lot of um, logos for people. All right, what other questions Thank do you have? Hey there, how's it going? Lisa, what's up? How are you? Doing good. Thanks for joining. Um so I have a home buyer workshop coming up. Okay. And then as far as landing pages, um, I'm probably just gonna use KB4. Okay. So yeah, they, they, and they, I've they, done landing pages through KB Core before, but I feel like I haven't done it well, so I've gotten very little change. So. Yeah, like the, the thing is, like all these websites and CRMs and stuff like that, they all work the same. So like it, it's it's just different buttons and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think that's a perfect example as far as like you know having a home buyer workshop landing page that people could go to, and then there's a button that they could click on to RSVP. And that goes automatically into, maybe you do Eventbrite or you know one of those different ones. Here's the trick I'm gonna show you guys too, is Zapier. Have you guys heard of Zapier? That's, now we're starting to get pretty techy. But so Zapier is a company, so I pay for that. And it's, I have like, I don't know, quite a few zaps. But what it does is it integrates things that aren't integrated already right so like if companies aren't integrated with each other so like i have like so like let's say eventbrite is not integrated with our crm you could use zapier to integrate both of those so what happens is you have a landing page for a home buyer workshop you have a link inside of that home buyer workshop landing page they click that they register on eventbrite that eventbrite registration is automatically going to update in your CRM with all of their information. And now that's a new lead in your database automatically. So Zapier is like its own um, platform that you subscribe to? Eventbrite? Uh, Zapier. 
No, Zapier is just a tech that helps you integrate things. And I'll show you guys that. Here, let me take note of that so I make sure I show you guys that. Is it like a membership you sign up for? Because I've seen it. I just, it's I've a subscription. never. Yeah, it's a, it's a subscription. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that. All right. Any other um, questions or topics that you guys want to kind of cover? I think a, another really good one that I like is, and I just saw Grace do these with uh, Josh. He made a bunch of videos and like, Richie, like, dude, you could, you start doing these with your own camera, right? Like you can start setting up a couple of meetings. It's start to do like uh, buyer, like the steps that people are going through. And so at each step, you could send them a new landing page, right? From your website that like, let's say they just got an offer accepted. You could make an offer accepted landing page that has like a quick little nice video of you talking about, hey, congratulations, you just got your offer accepted. You know, I want to just break down what the next steps look like, right? And then inside of that landing page, it could be, you know, a, a very clear, you know, a copy, right? A copy of like all the instructions, right? You could do one for contingencies, right? So how hard is it to dis uh, to describe releasing contingencies and how important is it to, you know, let people know how contingencies and releasing them work? What if you had a landing page for contingency releases? Can you explain that, right? What about, you know, hey, you just, you know, we're about to schedule signing, your loan just got approved, we got docs. What if you, you know, create a landing page? So you could have a series and then you could almost like have that built out inside of CRM. So like, dude, I'm telling you guys, like there's a lot of different things that you guys are going to, need to put some time towards right but when you guys put those time into it like it's going to save you guys so much time in the long run if that makes sense like you know spend time to save time so like that like there's ideas like that so let's go into it um and then you guys could ask questions or we could kind of go with the flow with this i don't have slides or anything like that i just wanted to make this more interactive with you guys so let me uh share my screen let me get into lofty um, hold on, hold on. Cool. You guys see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it too small? Should I zoom in? Or you guys good? I have my, I'm, you got, I got, I'm looking away from you guys because I'm on my big screen today. So, all right. So here's our here's our landing page. Look, I don't care what CRM you guys are using; it's all the same stuff. Like it, you know, similar things. So one of the things to look at though is um, right here at the top. It says website, right? So you're gonna click website up here. All of you guys that are inside of our CRM already have your domains. You guys can go in, and this is where I want you guys to do is go into GoDaddy. Right. I don't know. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, some of this stuff might be basic. Some of this stuff might be new for you guys, but go to GoDaddy and basically buy a domain. Right. It could be like Richie sells homes dot com. Right. Like, buy, you know, buy something like that. It's, you know, it's not available, but, you know, or yeah, it is. See, something like that. So you buy it. Right. It costs a penny. Right. And then I think it's only like like ten dollars a month or, or ten dollars every year to renew. So now you guys buy that domain, right? This is yours. You're going to have it forever. And now you guys could go in here and instead of it saying this, right, it's going to say your domain. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. So when you guys go in, you guys can buy. So I would recommend all you guys, um, websites are not cheap. Like I pay the premium for, you know, all of us to have this. Um, you guys, I think it's like $15 a month. I think it's like a $15 a month or something like that where you guys can upgrade. You guys can upgrade and get your own um, customized website because all of you guys get just a generic one that's tied to mine. Does that make sense? So you guys get your own, but it's like it's it's pretty generic. Like you don't you can't really customize it too much. All right. So just go in here, play around with it. But I want you guys to understand that you guys can upgrade for like it's not that much for a month. If you guys start shopping around and start to see how much websites are and like this is like 
my website, like I'm telling you, like I've customized it to make it look like one of these really expensive websites that, that costs thousands and thousands and thousands to, to build. Right. But we have it and you could have it for $15 a month is what I'm trying to say. Right. So here's kind of an overview of what that looks like. This is, you know, the website. This is kind of where we, you know, in the back back. Yeah. Oh. say it again. All right. So inside of this, this is where we have like our main page. Okay. So this is the actual website. So this comes scratch. Like, like this doesn't show anybody. Like it's like, you got to like basically build all of this stuff out. So I've kind of created this. I added this. I had other domains that were built for me from other companies. I used curator back in the day. And so I basically, you know, copied them. I copied that whole website and I made it into this website. And so I, that now I saw, I was like, man, you could do all this for everybody. So, but this is all built, right? So if somebody clicks on thinking of selling, right, I built this out. So now it's almost kind of like my high note, right? Like I have this, you guys could basically duplicate these and add them to be yours, right? Get my home's value. You know, you could have these. I've already got two leads just in the past week that people went into this and it goes into my lofty. And I sent that out to the agents to help take those listing appointments. So like this stuff works, like people like know who I am because of my branding and my marketing, but guess what they do? They go to my website and they fill out information. We got over $2 million in listings just in the past like week from, you know, people that know who I am or re were referred to me that went to my website that went in here and filled all this out. So this stuff works. Right. On to buy. Just to let you guys know, we have access to um, every single we have access to. I think like I I'm part of like three or four different MLSs around the entire Bay Area. So like we have like basically you're going to be able to find any home that we have. Everywhere in the Bay Area. Like I, hey. I, I think it, it costs, like I don't know, five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars per year to be part of the MLS. So. We have access to all of them. So basically, whatever buyer you have, like you're going to be able to set them up. They're going to be able to look for the homes. We have the IDX. It's just like Zillow, right? You guys have this. It's built out. Okay. Um, so I built can I, sorry, can I add on that, Bill? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I thought that when I would create my own lofty personal site to look like yours you pretty much, right that yeah. I would have access to the current, all of the MLSs that we currently have with the team. And they actually, I went through the process, removed my KB Core website, got into Lofty, paid their monthly, and they removed all the team access. And I only had, they told me I could only have the one I'm a part of, which was Barry's. So I could no longer be on my website from Lofty, all other homes that I would normally look up being part of the team. So I was, I, I, that was kind of misleading and they don't even want to refund the money. I don't even know how much it was a startup. It was like 20. So they do remove it like because they said it's only with the team. So you're saying, so Lofty, you signed up for Lofty and they're not allowing you to have access to all the other, um, at, like, so same thing like mine. Like you're Exactly. Not to yeah, they told me that they remove it as I create my own personal one and that I only have access to my own. I don't know how much extra it is to maybe make it look like yours, but I was under the impression it'd be like twenty dollars a month, you know, and I was cool with that to make as long as I had all the current access, but they remove it. Mm, that's good to know because I, they told me otherwise. Like basically if I have access because you guys are all tied into my IDX. And so like that's where but let's connect after that, Nelly. Let me make sure that you have um, you get access to that because we have I have a main person that works at Lofty that works just for our team, and so let me get plugged in with her. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, thank you. I have a question. So if we um, are reciprocal agents with other brokerages, um, so like my main is here with Delta, then I have like Berries, I have um, Metro. I'm like all over too. So I have like the reciprocal, which is actually pretty affordable, you guys, because then you get your key, your access and all that. You probably already know. But so if we have the reciprocal, would we be able to then add the ID decks through if, if it is going to be separate? That's another question. I guess we'd have to ask. Lockheed. Well, I think what you do is you, you just add in your MLS number. 
and so or your your information and that's how it's connected so basically, like if you're a part of a couple of MLSs, like they're, you're able to add a couple of those MLSs into this. But the reason why I bought all the MLSs was for everybody to have access. Because we had some agents like, like when I signed up for everything and I still keep signing up, but we had agents out in Santa Rosa. I had some, you know, SAC, I had some in Modesto, right? So I had to make sure that we all had access. So that's why I want to make sure that you guys do, because that doesn't make sense. So, um, I just I just took note of that. So, um, but yeah, so th this is just like a landing page, right? So that you guys could create, you guys could put your own videos, your own stuff, like you guys could have all of these different things. Um, and then inside of here, right? Like I got the review. So I want you guys to just see what's possible when, you know, like what I do and what I've done is like, I just go into different people's websites that I like, like just start, start, observing start searching other people's websites and if you like different styles that's the best way like just copy them just copy their different stuff like you guys could change, take take pictures you guys could do you know the different things like canva helps you now even create different stuff and like customize the stuff for you guys like you could grab pictures and graphics and all that right so i wanted to go into so like to be able to do that like you guys go into editor right up at the top and when you guys are in the editor, now you guys could go all the different pages, right? So these are all the different tabs up here. These are all the different little buttons right here. Um, you guys could go in here and basically go in here. This is how you edit all of these different kinds of things. So you guys see that? And you guys could actually like, you know, the display navigation. Like, so these ones up here, you could like choose what you want at the top. So I have, you know, these ones up at the top. You could have a hidden navigation. So like these are almost kind of like your your landing pages that you know people don't really see um, on your main pages. Um, so I want you guys to just kind of see how that works. Um, like the home page. So like here's the home page. Like so when you guys are going into this stuff, this is how like you could go in here and add and edit whatever you guys want, right? So you guys could go in here and you could like change your banners. Right. And like all it is is just sliding things over. Now you're going in here, double click it. You could change the picture of your header. You could change it into a video, a slideshow, make it just colors. Um, here's where you edit all the text messaging or the, you know, the text. So, uh, you know, just wanted you guys to kind of see what that looks like. But like you guys could go in here, like just spend a late night, early morning, like time block, like marketing, branding, like this is what this is. Um, and just play around with all these different buttons. Like you guys could go in, like there's like calculators that like you could do like, you know, like a landing page on, you know, mortgage, uh, on mortgages, right? And like start to get like programs in there, like city grants. Um, you could ha share, have like links that are tied to like city programs. Uh, but like you guys could have like a little calculators, right? Like that go on to your guys' landing pages or your websites. Um, you guys kind of see what this is? I think this is a really good one that I would start to use. And I'm going to like, maybe I'll, what I'll do is I could kind of help you guys create a landing page from scratch. But like this right here could be built out to your Calendly. So you guys could have a QR code that has like, you want to join our coming soon list at your open houses. And they go to a landing page and it gives them a list of all the coming soons. But then also says, do you want to schedule a buyer consultation schedule here? And it's already connected to your Calendly, which is already connected to your schedule. And now you're automatically getting buyer scheduling, buyer consultations through here. So you guys could do stuff like that. Um, you guys could add those are the videos, like videos, your YouTube videos, right? You could add a bunch of stuff there, your virtual tours. You could add your vendors, right? Get a whole bunch of different vendors to like, you know, also put put in there. Your reviews. It's easy to tie your reviews from your Zillow and your Google into this. And it's automatically connected to your stuff once you connect it. And then you could also select, I can manage my reviews. So I could go in here. Here's all the different reviews that are connected to Zillow. I could switch out the different reviews that are going to show. 
So if you have a, a seller landing page, you could choose all your seller reviews. If you have a buyer landing page, you could have all your buyer reviews. You guys see how that works though? So you guys go to page on the side right here and you guys could click, you guys could also add a page, right? You could add a page and it, it, and it also will help you build them out. Like they're already like pre-built stuff. Like, so like that, like this could be like a pre-built homepage for you that you could use. Uh, here's like listings, you know, like for your buyers, market snapshots. This could be like your seller page, home valuation reviews. The thing is like, I would just say, just have one because people are going to Google you. And if you don't have like a legit looking website that has a bunch of all these different features, like I'm telling you, like if they are judging you based off a website, like, and they look at somebody else's website and theirs looks better than yours, people are going to go with that other person. If it's like neck and neck, you know what I mean? So like, I would see, say like, be on everything and like as good as you can. Give yourself a marketing, a branding audit. Like I do that every year, every year, like, you know, update your, your photos and make sure your photos match on every single website, uh, social Google, right? Like your reviews are all looking good. Like all of that stuff. Cool. Anybody got questions around like the actual website itself? Like, so like, let's say somebody searches you. This is what they're going to pop into. It's going to be a home page. You guys could go in here, click it, right? You could go in here, add a whole bunch of different things, customize the pictures, customize different stuff, like have other people's websites up. Like maybe you could go like Google, you know, top 10 real estate websites and then start to look to see what all those websites look like. And then all you got to do is just have that page up and your page up and start building it and start copying kind of what they have and make it look exactly like yours. Any, any questions around this? Would we cancel the, um, like our EXP, our, um, you know, our standard website that we have that's just like the generic one would we need to cancel that one well you could so look you could have whatever websites you guys want you guys don't have to use one or the other i'm what i'm just showing you guys because like, if you guys are using kv core and you guys like it and you enjoy, like the the best crm is the one you use right and like that's one of the things that everybody always says like everybody always asks what's the best crm it's the one you that you use Right. So if you guys like KV Core and you guys like using it, right, like it's the same, same stuff. It's the same thing that you're doing. Like you guys could go in here and build it and play with it and you just have to learn it. Right. But I'm just showing you guys like how to do it. So like this is through Lofty. So whatever you have your domain going to, so you build your domain out, your name, and then you could have it go to whatever landing website that you guys want. Cool. Anything else? Does it seem like overwhelming and hard? Or you guys kind of understand it, kind of see, doesn't want to play around with it a little bit? I'm telling you guys, it, it's taken, like, it takes a long time. Like, so here's a shortcut. You could pay. You could pay to play. And, like, you know, you could pay to have a shortcut. Right. So there's people out there where you could that like there's like there's a lady. Um, I think she charged like like I had an interview with her and she charged like two, three thousand dollars per page. I was like, you're tripping. Hey, my sister. Um, I think I paid my sister like five hundred dollars and she built out a lot of the different pages for me. I think she's still available. But she's got a job. So I don't know. But you can find people maybe on Fiverr, maybe on, you know, if you guys want have some money and you guys want to do it if you don't have the money and you got like that means you got time so use that time and jump in here jump in here guess what google that shit youtube how to build out a website on kv how to build out a website on lofty 
Like it's going like there's so much training. Like the thing is like there's so much information out there for you guys. It, the problem is like how bad do you want it? Are you gonna actually you know bring the information to yourself, or are you just like using that excuse of like oh I don't know how to do it so I'm not gonna do it. All right. So all I'm saying is especially with these new buyer agreements coming up that everybody needs to sign, they're going to be judging you off of your website. And you guys need to have your websites. You guys need to have this. All right. Hey, real, real quick. Right. Um, so I'm I'm logged in here to Lofty on, on that website that's with the team. But where do you go? I can't find where to edit. Uh, so here, can you share your screen? And let's... Uh, yeah, I'm on my cell phone and then like using the computer. So, uh... um, I'm having kind of the same issue, and I think uh, Pamela is as well. You want me to share my screen because, um, on the top left, you see how you have like where it says page, like underneath that, you have like editor and stuff, and mm -hmm. more to the left, like on the little icons. I don't have that here, so. So that's where that you guys have to pay for the the website. Oh, okay. So, so then that unlocks. So what you guys have is like the generic one. Mm. It's a generic one that you guys get with the team. There's nothing on there. But when you guys pay, I think uh, Nelly just said, like you pay $20 a month. I think it was 20. I thought it was 15. Uh, but $20 a month. And then you get full access to do all of this. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Bill, <laughs> I have a quick question. Go ahead, um, um, the website address, if you wanted to change, I know it's not related to the landing pages, but, um, if you want to change your website actual address, how hard is that to do? Do you have to like put in a ticket or, or what? No. So I just, uh, man, how do you guys see my screen? The GoDaddy thing. So, so Julie, you just go to GoDaddy.com. I think you just hopped on, so you missed this. But you yeah, go to GoDaddy.com yeah. and you buy your domain, right? And once you have your domain, um, let me see if I can sign in. You guys can kind of see how that works. Because this is how you guys can have a whole bunch of different domains and have them go to a whole bunch of different things. So like, like I, I was making them for every single address. And I would have a sign writer out front that had 1812 franklinstreet.com and it would be a, a writer so people would go to it and they would click on that landing page and go to it right because it only costs like ten dollars to be able to get this domain so you guys could have these and you just have them go to different things like davis team zoom like perfect example like here's a domain that i would have you guys do is have a have one that's um that goes to like your calendly for buyer uh, consultations that has that's connected to your schedule and you could put juliescalendar.com. Okay. And then that would go, that's connected to your Calendly, right? Now your Calendly, you're sending that to your, your clients. And you could have a bunch of, like, so we're kind of going off a little bit. But let me show you guys uh, Calendly. You guys all have Calendly? You guys don't? Sign up, get it. Something that you guys need in your tech stack. So Calendly, I have a whole bunch of different kind of calendars that people could schedule. And I, so here's the thing. You guys can make one for showings, right? You guys can make, here's my calendar to, for your showings. And you guys could customize when you're available. Not when your client's available. When are you available? When are you wanting to take these appointments? When are you wanting to go on showings? And you guys have a calendar around that, right? So like if you click on, CMA, like I was interviewing for a CMA, so I made one right here. Like if you go to this, like I didn't want to meet with a CMA guy for like, you know what I mean, during certain times. Like I had like a very strict like time when I was able to meet with these people. You know what I mean? It was like a four hour notice. Like it was only uh, during weekdays. Like I had 12 to 3.30, uh, 9.30 to 3. So you could organize your calendar. So just that was a quick rundown of calendar. So um let's hop back into this any other questions around that i'm going to go back into landing pages so before you get off of the topic of time 
Um, I just got connected um, with Melanie with getting added to Zillow. Is there a way to put in your time for like when you're available to take calls? No, not with Zillow. Okay. Zillow is like, basically you just, like if you're not available or you, let's say you go on a trip or something like that, you just tell Melanie, hey, pause me. Okay. And she'll pause me. It, 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 that's more of like a manual thing. It's not like automated. All right, so let's go into landing pages. So over here, landing pages. So here's a whole bunch of different, so we made a, like every listing that we're, you know, that we have, like we have uh, landing pages that we're creating for the listings that are coming through, right? Um, so just to give you guys some examples, So you guys can go in here and this is how you guys can make your landing pages, All right? So you guys can make it like, they, they already have templates for you guys that you guys can go in here, okay? You guys can build your own, but they already have one that you could go in. Like, let's say, you know, you build one of these out. So meeting with leads, right? So you build this one out, um, I'm just going to save it. And then you go up here to the top left, you build it, right? And now you can have like, you know, I could add a video of myself, right? So I could add a video of what it's like to meet with me. So what if you just make a casual video right now and say, hey, thanks for, you know, showing interest and in wanting to meet with me. Uh, looking forward to, you know, having a buyer consultation and strategizing to help you guys buy a home. It could be something really simple. And that could be part of, you know, the top of this. Right? And you, like, this is where it's important to have uh, I guess now you could have your, you know, your videos from Facebook and stuff. But like, I would say, get your YouTube up and running. I was just telling a couple of the agents yesterday. I was like, all you guys got to do is tell Shamir and she'll build your YouTube page. You just got to show her examples of what you want your YouTube page to look like. And she'll build it out for you. Like, you just need to upload all your, like, when you're posting videos on Instagram, you guys better be posting them on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Google, everything. Post it on everywhere. Why only reach one audience? Okay. So you guys could go in here and add a YouTube video, right? You go into YouTube. Don't mind my little cat thing, man. My kid, my kid came in here. He learned how to use computers and switched everything up on me. He thought it was funny. Now, now I, know, I don't even know how to remove that thing. Now I got cats. I got cats doing lightsabers. Our kids are smarter than we are. <laughs> man, I know. All right, let me go to my page. Hold on. And you can see my YouTube is all just like kid stuff. Look at this. <laughs> I like trying to show like clients like my like YouTube videos and I'm like going to my page and it's like all kid videos. All right, how do I go to my page? Oh, there it is. All right, so like let's just say, you know, I'm just picking a random video, right? So look, I grab this video that I already uploaded it. I go into here, add the video here, and there it is. You know what I mean? So you could have like a video that's based off of like, maybe you did an event. Maybe you're having a, an event and you're like, hey, thanks for you know joining our event and I can't wait to see you guys there. Blah blah blah, right? Make a video, now you have it as your thing. Um, you guys can have like a whole bunch of different things. Just play around. I'm just telling you guys to play around with it. You guys have your calendar synced up to stuff. Like, go in here and just start building out and get as artistic as you guys want. Like, you guys could spend a lot of time or a little time, make it look basic. You could make it look extravagant, right? So, it just depends on what you guys want to do and how you guys want your brand to look. Um, let me give you guys a couple of examples of, that's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to show you guys my examples of my landing pages. Actually, I just see you uh, raised a hand. What you got? Hey, 
dang, the struggle to take the phone off of you. Okay, I was going to ask, can you hear me, Bill? Yep. I was going to ask, um, if we reach out to Shamira for building up the um, YouTube, will she do, like, all the social medias that you have? Um, so if you want to, like, see what you have on YouTube and put it on your Facebook Will she do that or will she just take the content from YouTube and Facebook or whatever? You can find a link and put it on your landing page. Um, anything that you guys need help with. Like I told you guys before, like you just have to give her instructions on what you need help with and then give her access to whatever it is. Okay. Hey, Bill, can you hear me? This is Ricardo. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, as far as like alignment with everything, what, what do you have to say in regards to that? Like having everything be aligned and kind of, you know, like you said, you want to put it out there with and everything, YouTube, Google, but having it all be aligned. And then as far as talking to you, you said Shamira, who's, is that that's up to us to kind of organize it to make sure everything's going to, the plan, the game plan is solid or yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Or is there somebody that can help us with that as well? Or, uh, for, like getting any help with your marketing, like for like yeah, the landing like, pages or yeah, like or, a landing page. Like we might be putting a landing page, but then if we're putting out another one as well, you know, or or a YouTube video or doing this. We're we're doing all this, but then if it's not aligned, it, I mean, it's still better to get it out there than not getting it out there. But having it be aligned with the brand, in other words, as well, you know. Uh, um, well, that, that's that's going to be your brand. To us, or well, that's going to be your brand on how you want to look. Like, yeah, you definitely want to have the same name, you know, the same colors, the same fonts, like, like your, your brand is like you, that's where everybody's different. Right. So how you want to look is how, yeah, you want to look. Everybody's going to have different stuff. All right, thanks. Yeah. So, man, I'm trying to find, no, I'm not finding my pages that I have. All I'm finding are my property pages and the landing pages hold on give me one sec hold on Any other uh, questions around, you know, the landing pages and stuff like that? Yeah, but I was going to ask, is there, can we build a few landing pages or how, because I have something from like back in 2016 where there's like a few landing pages and I, they're just still up, you know? So I'm wondering is, uh, can we import them or, or how would that work? Like there's, we already have some. Uh, this is what I'm showing you right now. Basically, you're, you're learning on like you could create anything that you want. Also, uh, more than one, a few of them. Okay. Right. Yeah. I right, think. So I'm trying to. Oh, here it is. There you go. There's pages and pages. Okay. Here, let me get you guys back. All right. I saw that there was pages. Now I just found it. Now where can I find you guys? Hold on. Share screen. Cool. Are you guys back? Can I see my screen? Yes. All righty. Okay. So here's all my different pages that I've built. So you guys, here, here's like a, a really good one. So like, look, I, I made one for a dream for all, right? So I made one, like I made it, like, let's say you make a video. Be like, hey, did you guys know that you guys could buy a home and get 20% of your down payment? There's a new program out called the Dream for All program. Here's Here's more information in regards to that. Right, so you guys see what just popped up right here. So you guys could capture, this is where I would say, like you guys have whatever CRM you guys want. It's just, we have a lot of stuff built out inside of Lofty. The thing is like, look, you could have people get registered to see these things. So you guys could have somebody, so when you guys are creating these landing pages, you could actually have it to be where you're, they're gonna have to register or they're not gonna register. Right. So like maybe you guys have like a coming soon list. Maybe you could have them go through like one or two different listings. And then if they go through one or two different listings, that little thing's going to pop up. And now they're going to have to put in their information to keep looking at more homes. 
And if they put their information in there, now you're going to get a new lead. Guess what you're going to do with that new lead? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I see you just landed on one of our uh, websites. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, see if, you know, this is right. Like we're going to the script. Start talking to the buyer. Book a buyer consultation. What do you think the ISAs are doing daily? We're generating leads just like this every day. And it's based off of these registrations. Cool. So, look, I did one right here. So here's one for Hercules Bayfront Festival Raffle. Like I did this one really simple. This was, I was trying to get people to sign up to, you know, get Kinder's gift cards. I had this just, it was like a car show. Super simple. I had this on my iPad. People were signing up for this stuff. And guess what was happening? Once they signed up for it, it was going into my Lofty automatically. Right? So that's just an example of one that I did for that. The free pie giveaway. I had people signing up for a free pie giveaway. Reserve my pie. You guys can see, look. Like, I built these out myself and I like I only have so much time. I did it. Right? Like it does not it's not fancy, it's not beautiful, but it's a website. And guess what is even best about this is they're on my website. So if they go to other different things, right? They're going to see other things like, oh, like let's see what the selling point is. Oh, let's look at the reviews. Right? Like all these different things like they're going to be able to go to it from these landing pages that I created. You guys could do new constructions for a sale. Here's a really good example of you guys could build one out and you guys are going to be able here. Let me show you guys how to do that. So here's a really good one. You guys, here's, here's a good one that I like, especially because we're going into summer. Here's a list of all the houses for sale with swimming pools. How many, how many people are looking for homes with swimming pools? What if you guys had a list of all the homes with swimming pools? You guys could actually have a video of somebody hopping in the water. You know, or like you guys could have a picture of like and build out a landing page and that says list of homes with, um, you know, all the houses with swimming pools. And then you guys have your your thing built out to where it only shows them those, you know, houses with swimming pools. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, for instance, here's here's like a new construction, right? It, it's named new construction. But let, let's just say that, like, let's do this one and just build out. Um, Swimming or swimming pools. I like. I think that's a really good one for you guys, All right? So let's say swimming pools. And then you guys could like even like create your own sources, which is crazy. Now you could put you know whatever you guys want. The trigger. So here, you see the trigger registration? You can make it to where the trigger hops on and you guys could put like after 10 seconds. You guys see that? You guys could do how many, how many listings do they look at before the trigger pops up? So you could do like maybe they maybe let people look at two homes, right? Maybe they look at two homes before the registration pops up. Give them a little sneak peek of what it looks like. So like that's a way that you guys are able to do that. You guys could tag it and uh, have smart plans get launched. So it automatically will start sending them text messages and emails. And we already have the smart plans built out for all these different types of leads. And you guys could go in there. Phil, I have a quick question. So is this with the, um, if you um, pay for it and upgrade it, or is this already included in what we have right now? Yeah, you're going to have to go in. And, so like you got to spend the $20 a month and uh -huh. upgrade to be able to have all of these features to be able to okay. customize all this. Okay. Yep. Cool. Bill, I had a quick question with that uh -huh. pay pie, with the pay page that you were showing where they have to sign up for a free pie. What kind of questions do you ask them? Uh, well, actually, I just had a link to the sign up form for on that one. But you could have any kind of sign up. You, you could have any kind of questionnaire if you want. But we had it go to a job form that was connected to our Google Sheets. Mm, got it, got it. So basically just the basic info, like their email number. And then you could customize that job form. Right. Okay. Thank you. So I know we're throwing out a whole bunch of words that are probably a lot of you guys are like, what the hell is job form? You know, all that. Like, Google it. Find out. <laughs> um, so look, I just want to show you guys real quick. Look, let's go to Banner. You guys put it right here, put in.
Hey, Bill, can you show how you tag the smart plan after you um, created the landing page? Say that again. How do you um, add, how do you tag the smart plan to the landing page? Is that like when it comes into the CRM? The yeah, let me, let me show you how to do that. Uh, remind me, remind, here, I'm gonna write that one down. Let me, let me show you guys how to do this first. So here's the, so this is how you guys are gonna customize. So like, obviously look, you can make this pretty, add whatever you guys want, add a swimming pool and homes and make, you know, beautiful picture and add this, right? I'm not gonna go into detail. You guys can make it look pretty. Um, this is where you guys can go in here and now you can start to filter swimming pools. See all the different features that you guys could have. So swimming pools, any. So for sale, listing status, it could be any of them. You don't want to show them any uh, contingent ones. So, so like you guys see how the coming soon right here? You could actually pull up all the coming soons and have like a list. Here's a, you know, I, I just created an ad like this and I was, I was getting leads for like $5. People that were like clicking on the registration and they were like basically like signing up to look at this list of coming soons that I had. And that's what this was, right? You could do, um, hey, do you want to find out all the homes that fell off or, you know, came back on the market due to, you know, the buyers backing out or, you know, the loan falling apart? Here's a list of that. Right. You guys could customize anything you guys want. Uh, I'm just going to show uh, show these, though. And so all of these listings, Bill, are pulling directly from the MLS? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same thing that all, it's an IDX feed, just like all home search sites. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to pull this. I don't know why it's only showing these areas. So maybe you do one for like, you know, let's say Walnut Creek. Or Contra Costa County. All right, here's a list of all the homes for sale in Walnut Creek with the swimming pool. All right, you know what I mean? So like, I want you guys to just kind of see the different filters that you guys could put in here that show all of that. I don't know why it's not popping up right now. So there's 42 homes for sale on Walnut Creek, but I wanted to pull up the swimming pool a bit though. Yes. All right. Hard to believe there's no homes in Walnut Creek with no swimming pools right now. But you guys see what I'm trying to do. So you guys could you guys could go in there play around with the the criteria. You guys could go in um, basically like you know here's a list of all the homes that qualify for down payment assistance programs. You guys could do something like that and grab a list of all the homes that are like listed seven hundred thousand dollars and below, six hundred thousand dollars and below. Here's the list of all the homes for sale that match what the rents are. Pay the same as rent. You know, why, why rent when you could own for the same price, right? Like, just you guys could get creative. The thing is, what it's going to do is you're generating leads. And that's what I want to show you guys, right? You guys are generating leads out here. So any any questions around these different things? Different and do you, you know, oh, oh, sorry. Do you have a link? Like, is this like, um, like on your Instagram and stuff? Is there like a link that the people on social media, whoever can click on it to go to this website? Or how do you, how do you give people access to this? Yeah. So 
So I'm going to have another master class around running Facebook ads and show you guys how to make um, actual. So this is how you guys, I'm, I'm showing what I'm showing you guys is how to capture leads um, from the, your actual website. So you okay. guys could have a link, right? You guys could have a link inside of a video that you post on Instagram, right? People will go to that link and that link takes them to this landing page that you make. And inside of that landing page, now you're going to be able to get them to register. And now that's a new lead. Got it. So inside of Facebook, what I found to do even better is to actually have a lead form ad inside of Facebook. So that's a whole, totally different topic side of things. And it's all integrated into your CRM. Cool. So here's, um, you know, like, here's one right here. Bay Area homes that have a mortgage of 36. This is the old one that I made. Bay Area homes that have a mortgage of $3,600 or less. This is the exact one that I just kind of like just talked to you guys about, right? You guys could run a copy or make a picture or a video or whatever that is to grab people's attention. So like, hey, do you want to see, you know, how, how, you know, do you want to own a home, but, you know, have a mortgage that's $3,600 or less? Here's a list of a custom, here's a custom list that I put together for you guys of all the hottest homes in the Bay Area that match that. And how do you guys do that? You guys got, you know, this is this is when the rates were probably 3%, but um, I'm just showing you guys what you guys can do. So now what I they're going to be able to register, right? They click on this home, they click on this home, they click on this home, and then a trigger pops up to where now they register all their information if they want to continue. And now they're going to go into our CRM once they, they register. And just to show you guys how to do that again, so you go into settings under here, and this is recorded, so and then we're taking notes, so you guys will be able to kind of go back and reference this. Um, but there's also a lot of videos on YouTube and everything to kind of show you guys how to do these. Uh, but like as far as the registration, right here, see the trigger trigger reg registration. So you guys could do this right here. This is what's going to pop up. And this is how you guys customize the, the registration form. So you guys could do, here's the pop-up content. Here's the page, or the so pop-up content is like, you know, create your free account. You guys could change what that pop-up looks like. So let me show you guys what this looks like. So, cause I'm going to go to it. So let's, let's turn it on. So trigger registration, it will go after, I'm going to do it fast. So three seconds. And then you can make it to where they could actually close out of that registration and still look at your stuff, or you make it like, oh, like they can't look at your page unless they register. Okay. Uh, this right here, I'm not sure what this is, at 30 party registration. So this might be new. Um, I'm wondering if that kind of goes in with the lead format. So I'm going to publish this. And let's say I'm looking at homes. See how it just pops up. Boom. Right? So now that's how you're going to, you guys could customize all of this. You guys see that? Now you're going to be able to. Oh, this is what it is. You can log in with Facebook or log in with Gmail. So it makes it easier for them to register or pre-fill their information. That's what this is. So it makes it easier. And now you've got all their information. And once you get all their information, guess what happens? Boom. You just got a new lead over here. Boom. You call them. Got a new buyer consultation. Right? So let me show you guys a trick, though, with these. So... And then this, Daniel, I'm going to answer your question about the smart plan. So, like, let's say you just got a new lead, right? Let's say all of those a new lead that just registered on your uh, on your site. So you guys could go in here under smart plans, and we already have these built out, like these hatch these hatch ones that we've. Uh, this is what we paid we paid thousands of dollars to get these built out for us, and we actually just upgraded them, uh, but. There's one right here that says, so like you guys could read these and kind of see which each one does. So like, here's like, here's one right here. I don't know if you guys have saw this one, but this one's for open house leads. 
Have you guys seen what these, this does? You guys could have like, like let's say you guys just got done with the open house on Sunday. You guys could take a picture of all those sign-in sheets and send them over to Melanie. She'll upload all of those for you and trigger, and you let her know, trigger the uh, hatch fire plan open house leads. And this will automatically go to every single lead that you just met with. You guys see how that works? So here's like a property inquiry. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the online lead generation one. That's the one that we're kind of going over. Here's like a CMA request one. I don't know if you guys saw that one. So this one right here, see this force? So a hatch buyer plan, force registration, PPC social leads. So what you guys can do is you guys go in here and now you guys can edit it to where you're gonna let it know when to trigger. So like, let's say, you know, a new lead came in. So lead created, it's gonna get launched. You guys see how that works? Danielle? Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. So, so you could have it like trigger once a new lead gets created and you guys could build this all out. Like you could say, you know, pipeline source. So like your source would be website and you would add that on here, right? Like wherever, like you might have to get a new lead for the system to realize what you have coming in. And then once it sees what's coming in, now you'll find it and then now it'll be triggered every single time. That's what Cape Core doesn't have, right? And like this is what we've built out that you guys have. This is what we're all automatically already doing. You guys could have Melanie help you guys out with all of this stuff. I'm telling you guys, we have full-time admin, a bunch of them that are here to help you guys. They're here to do all this stuff for you. But I think it's really good for you guys to understand and learn how it works. Cool. Any any questions? We kind of went over a little bit. Um, was this some good information? Let me uh, get out of here. This is awesome. Hey, Bill, let me know if your sister is available. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. If you guys are interested, I could definitely uh, let let her know. Be like, man, you want a, a little side hustle for sure. She'll give a discount. Let's see how much. Cool. Any any other questions? Anybody see that they could use this for their events or, you know, like grabbing, you know, generating leads? Um, I want you guys to like start generating leads so you can see like the value behind it. So then you can see like the value that's behind the lead that we're generating for you guys as well. Cool. Anything else? You guys good? All right, y'all. You guys have a good one. We'll talk later. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.